Welcome to the final installment of the Rocketbots Academy How to Build the Basic Chatbot course. Today, we'll be going over how Sally can train her chatbot and how to broadcast through it. Sally's chatbot has been a huge help in getting her customers the answers to the most common questions and fast. However, as conversations come in, Sally's noticed on the Rocketbots platform that more than a few users have run into issues with the chatbot. The chatbot sometimes gives the wrong response, or it doesn't know how to give the response at all. To help train the chatbot, click on the training option to the left in dialog flow. In this menu, there are rows of data. Each row is a single conversation. Click a conversation, and you'll be brought to the sessions window. This is where you'll train your chatbot. Each line you see here is a single request and the corresponding intent that it triggered. In each line, you may come across errors, matches, and mismatches. If you see a request that matches the correct intent, do nothing. If a request is assigned to the incorrect intent, click the intent below and search for the right one to assign. If the request was not assigned to any intents, you can click Click to Assign below and assign it to the correct intent. Always double check your corrections before you click Approve, as assigning a request to the wrong intent or approving a mismatched request can cause your chatbot to learn how to make mistakes more often. Click Approve and give the chatbot agent some time to train. Training is always an ongoing process, and it's good practice to continue training your chatbot as more users talk with it, and new varying requests come in. The more data that comes in and the more training applied to the chatbot, the less likely it is to make mistakes. After going through the training, Sally's noticed that more than a few requests coming into the chatbot are inquiring about when fresh fruit gets delivered to the store. The demand for this delivery notice shows that there should be a new intent. Start by creating an intent using the same best practices as before. Create at least 20 requests asking about the topic of fruit delivery and set the response as, we get fresh fruit delivered at sporadic times from different orchards and farms in the region. So we'll let you know when there's a delivery coming as soon as we know ourselves. This time, we're going to add a parameter to this intent that tags users who inquire about fruit deliveries. Click on add parameter and type RB underscore add tags in all capitals and set the value as fruit delivery. Remember to save the intent. From now on, when a user asks the chatbot about fruit deliveries, they will be tagged in the Rocketbots platform with the tag Fruit Delivery. Sally can now use the broadcast feature on the Rocketbots platform to update her curious users with updates on deliveries as soon as she knows. To do this, simply click on Broadcast to the left of the Rocketbots platform. Select New Broadcast at the top right. Here, you'll be able to write your broadcast message, select your channel or channels you'd like to broadcast to, and choose the tag you want to target in your broadcast. In Sally's case, we'll write our delivery update, select Facebook as our channel, and select the fruit delivery tag to target any users who have inquired about delivery updates. Sally now has a chatbot that can get smarter with training and update targeted customers based on their interests. This completes the Rocketbots Academy Build a Basic Chatbot course. There's much more to building chatbots, so continue on to more advanced lessons or stay tuned for more courses to come.